Sup guys, today we are going to be making an ultimate Spider-Man suit inspired by the art of Mark Bagley. This suit is going to be seven pieces and won't include any sewing. Yup, you heard me right. There is going to be zero sewing in this entire tutorial. And that is really good for all you beginners out there who have no idea how to sew. Like me. And with all that being said, let's get to work on the first part of the suit, the mask. So, what you're gonna need for the mask is a red spandex mask, PC fan mesh, craft foam, spray paint, Plasti Dip, and a Sharpie. Normally, I would tell you how to put all this stuff together, but I'm not going to because my process is extremely similar to probably Spider-Man's How to Make a Spider-Man Mask video. The only thing that differentiates myself from him is how I bought 2x metallic aluminum spray paint because I wanted it to have that more accurate feel to the Ultimate Comics. But I guess I can still do a quick rundown for all the people who are lazy and don't want to watch this video. Step one, trace out your first lens onto a piece of paper. Then you're going to cut out the lens precisely. After that, you're going to do the exact same thing on a piece of foam, but do it for both lenses. Then you're going to take it out to your garage or basement and then spray paint it with a few coats of Plasti Dip. My mom got so mad at me when I got spray paint all over the floor on the garage. She was so mad. Oh my God. Yeah, be sure to watch out for that. While the outer layers are drying, be sure to spray paint the inner layers. Then you draw over the inner layers and then cut them out precisely. And then finally, you are going to glue both pieces together and then you have your lenses. Then you grab a mannequin and put a grocery bag over it, duct tape it, then put the spandex mask over top of it. Then you are going to glue on the lenses. Hey, look, I'm wrestling suit, Spider-Man. And then while they are drawing, you do the webs. And that's pretty much it for the mask. Now let's get to the torso. So, what you're gonna need for the torso is a red shirt, a blue shirt, fabric scissors, two to three bottles of fabric glue, craft foam, black and red Plasti Dip, and a Sharpie. So basically, you're gonna be reusing a few things that you've already used for the mask. You know, to make the tutorial a lot easier. And to stay consistent with the costume because you don't want your costume to look stupid. All right, so the first thing we're going to be tackling is the logos. So when we're getting on the logos, we need to find multiple different references for how it's going to look. Then you're going to sketch out half of the logo. This might take a little while, but then you are going to cut out the logo. Then you're going to do the same process on a piece of foam, but you're going to flip it over midway through so you can do both sides. Then you're going to cut out the logo. This might take even longer than the paper one. Then you're gonna do the exact same process with the back logo. Then you're gonna take your logos out into your garage and spray paint Plasti Dip on both. Be sure to use red on the back logo. Now you're pretty much done with the front logo. All you have to do is Sharpie on the legs on the back logo and then you're done with both logos. So, to start off with the shirt piece, you need to put your shirt over top of a pillow. Then you're going to draw a tiny dot onto where the front logo is going to go. Then you're going to lay the logo over top of the tiny dot, and then you're going to draw the first few lines around the logo. Mark Bagley has a specific design choice that I really like in how he has the spider logo not connecting to the webs, which is why you want a gap between the front logo and the webs. Bagley tends to draw six across on the abs, and he has a formatting detail so it makes the webs look more cobweb-like instead of a more grid texture, like for example, John Romita Jr. After doing the webs on the chest and abs, you are then going to draw out where the red is gonna be when you cut the suit. When you're doing the webs on the arms, you should do three to four across and six to eight on the back. After doing all the webs on the suit, then you are going to cut out the entire suit. This is gonna take a long time, so I highly suggest you be patient and take your time. After cutting out the red, you are then gonna put the blue shirt over top of the pillow and then put the red shirt over top of the blue. Then you're gonna take the six hours necessary to glue all the red parts to the blue. I suggest gluing the front first and then gluing the belt and then doing the back and then doing the arms. Sorry for saying then so many times. 
Not with the big words again. One thing I forgot to mention about when you're gluing the belt, please cut through the middle in the back part so then you can fold it over top of a section so then it can be a bit more tight when glued. After gluing, you're gonna wanna wait about an hour until it's fully dry and then you're gonna get to gluing on the logos. When gluing the front logo, you're gonna first glue on the body and then you're gonna glue on the legs individually. The back logo is going to be a very similar process, but this time you're going to do on the glue separately on the back of the back logo, and then you are going to put the logo on the back. And then you will finally be done with the entire torso piece. Hey look, now I'm Spider-Man from when MJ and Peter get back together. Haha, <laughs> I'm so lonely. <laughs> All right, now we're on the final part of the suit that's really gonna take some time, the gloves. So all we're really gonna need to complete the gloves is gloves and a Sharpie. Yeah, this part really isn't that complex. So for reference, I chose these two photos because I thought they emulated the best parts of the gloves. So that's what we're gonna be basing it off of. After getting everything together, all you really need to do is just draw on the webs on the gloves. This might take around 40 minutes, that's how long it took me. And then you need to do the exact same process over again on the other glove, and then you're basically done with the gloves. So we have the mask, shirt, and gloves done. But what about the pants and boots? Well, for the pants, I just went online and bought this pair of pants. They don't match 100% with the shirt itself, but I think they're pretty close that they work. For the shoes, all I did was just use my normally red shoes because they're practically perfect. I didn't really need to change anything about them. Yeah, I could have done webs, but I'm not doing webs on $75 shoes. As an alternate, you could use this pair of shoes. I know these shoes would work because my pal Spider Kid Studios owns these. All he did was just puff paint them with the black webs, and then they were basically perfect. You could do Sharpie as an alternate, I guess. I don't know if they'd work or not. But yeah, go check out his channel. Also, go check out his Instagram. He's a pretty cool dude. Wow, I guess you're finally done. That's great. Now you can go lie dead on your lawn while everyone stares at you awkwardly. I swear to God, why does everybody in the Ultimate Universe have to die around Peter's house? I mean, Uncle Ben dies in the house, Gwen dies on the lawn, and Peter dies on the lawn. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if this tutorial helped you for anything. And let me know if you want to see me make any more Spider-Man suits. But yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys with that. So yeah, see ya.